Hello Lana, my name is Stella and I'm with my colleague Livingstone from the Uganda National Association of Sign Language Interpreters. Welcome to this geography lesson. During this session, we shall be talking about fishing in East Africa. But we, before we get into that fishing, I just want to remind you that please stay at home and ensure that whenever possible, wash your hands to keep yourself from COVID-19. And for all the children, please ensure that you're protecting yourself from any sorts of abuse during this season. Like I mentioned, that we shall be talking about fishing in East Africa. We are going to focus on the types of fish that are caught in East Africa. We will also talk about the different fishing grounds in East Africa and what factors favor fishing within East Africa. Therefore, our learning objectives are we should be able to state the different fishing grounds within East Africa or list them. We should also be able to describe the factors that favor fishing in East Africa and also mention the different types of fish that is caught in East Africa. For you to be able to know that this lesson was successful for you or you learned something, at the end I will request that you write for me an essay or a report about fishing in East Africa. So as we begin this lesson, I just want to remind ourselves what does fishing actually mean? For many of us in our senior one, we learned about exploitation of different resources in British Columbia. And among the resources we talked about was fishing. For many of us in our senior one, we talked about exploitation of resources in, in British Columbia. And among the resources we talked about was fishing. So just for us to reflect, what does fishing actually mean? Please tell the person next to you, or even tell yourself. Well, well done. If you said that fishing is the extraction of aquatic life from water, you are correct. However, in some books, some scholars define fishing as the extraction of animals from water. The reason as to why they refer to them as animals, some of these are mammals. So we said that one of the things we are going to talk about are the types of fish caught in East Africa. But before we get into that, I just want us to do a fish naming game in the sitting room, if you're with the parent or with your siblings, I am going to ask you to shout out as many types of fish as you know or that you have seen before to the person that is next to you. But before we do this game, I would love to remind us of some of the fish types so that we think about them as we shout out our uh, different types of fish. For some of us in our community, we have seen men with a bicycle that has a wooden box at the back, ringing the bicycle bell and calling out, fish for sale, fish for sale. Those men actually sell a particular type of fish, but also there are ladies with heaps of fish, very little fish, selling it in little quantities of small empty buckets. That is also another type of fish. What could that fish be? And also in the marketplaces, especially during the evenings, there are men cutting big fish into small parts and deep frying it. That is also another type of fish. So please mention as many types of fish to the person next to you as you can. We have 30 seconds to do that. Okay. 
Well done. So, I am hoping that some of the types of fish that you have mentioned include tilapia. It's that fish that I said the men sell in the box. This doesn't mean that there are no other types that are sold in those wooden, uh, wooden boxes on a bicycle, but tilapia is the most common type that they sell. We also have silver fish. That is the one that I said the ladies are selling in heaps within the marketplaces. And tilapia, to mention but a few. For those of you who are hearing me, I would love you to find out what are those different types of fish that we have talked about in your local languages. Now, I just want us to note the different types of fish actually have different tests. Have you ever found out why? They are also sold at different prices. Could you be knowing why? One of the answers actually is because they are caught in different places. So this leads us into our next objective of this session that we mentioned about the fishing grounds. Fish in East Africa is caught in different fishing grounds. Some are inland fishing grounds, others are marine fishing grounds. We are going to look at the map of East Africa at the moment, and we will look at the different water bodies that are found in East Africa. So these inland fishing grounds that we have said, they include lakes, we have rivers, we have swamps. On the other hand, we have said that we have some marine water fishing grounds. Let me ask you, in East Africa, which are the countries that border the coast? Thank you. Tanzania and Kenya border the coast. And it is these two countries in East Africa that actually have got what we refer to as the marine fishing grounds. So the fishing grounds we have said is the water body out of which the fish is caught. One major one is Lake Victoria. We all know Lake Victoria is shared by all the East African countries. That is Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania. Now, on Lake Victoria, we have places where the trading of fish happens commonly. And that is what we refer to the fish landing site. I know some of you have been to the fish landing sites during your field work trips, or you actually stay at the fish landing site. So you could be wondering, what is a fish landing site? This is the place where after fish is caught, it's brought inland and then sold out to the different marketplaces. Let us refer to the sketch map of East Africa that is showing different water bodies in East Africa. If you have noticed, there are quite a number of water bodies in East Africa, and all these have got fish landing sites on them. It is from this landing site where fish is got and then transported to the different local markets or to the different marketplaces. We are going to concentrate at looking majorly at Lake Victoria as a fish landing site. Lake Victoria is shared by three countries in East Africa, Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania. And on Lake Victoria, some of the fishing grounds that we have include Kasenyi Fish Landing Site. I know some of you have been to Kasenyi during your field trip. We have Gaba Fish Landing Site, Masese, Kasensero, Katosi, those are in Uganda, and so many others that are small fishing grounds, but not the ones that majorly bring in fish into Uganda. 
On Lake Victoria, we also have Mwanza Fish Landing Site that is in Tanzania. We also have Kisumu in Kenya. I'm going to ask you to add on to the list of the different fish landing sites that are found on Lake Victoria. We also said that we have the marine fishing grounds in East Africa. And the big question would be, which are the countries that are shared or that have the marine fishing grounds? Kenya and Tanzania. And on these, some of the fish landing sites are Motuara, Dar es Salaam, and Tanga. Those are in Tanzania, as well as Mombasa in Kenya. So as we wind up today's lesson, I just want to remind us of the things that we have talked about. We defined fishing, which we said is the extraction of aquatic life from water bodies. We have also talked about the major fishing grounds in East Africa. And I want to leave you with an assignment related to the factors that influence fishing in East Africa. You are going to pretend that you're a journalist and you work on a particular TV station that you love. And you are going to go to the different fishing grounds or the different landing sites that we have talked about or even to the marketplaces. And you will talk to people and find out what are the factors that are actually enabling the fishing activity to be carried out in East Africa. You will write down your report as a TV presentation and you will read out this presentation to your parents, telling them about the factors that are influencing fishing in East Africa. Thank you for being a part of this lesson. We encourage you to continue staying safe during this period from both COVID-19 and any sort of abuse. Thank you.